Hey everybody, it's me, Chasey Poo, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of a product from Emisil. So, I have not opened the box yet, I want everybody to see what it looks like, what it says in the description for customs, because this does come from Lithuania, and I got it shipped to me in the US. So it just says personal massage item. So there's nothing on there about like silicone toy or big old dick or anything for any of that type of stuff. But yeah, let's take a look. I'm very excited to see what's in this box. Alrighty. Oh, I love their boxes. I love when you open the box and you just see another box and it's so fresh. Like you can't, it just looks black too. Just give me one second. Uh, Alright, so this is what it looks like. It has like there you go, yeah, you can see it says Emisil on it, it's very cool. And as I took it out of the box, this thing came out, which says, attention, once the plastic bag is open, no exchanges or refunds can be issued. This product has been inspected by our quality specialist before packaging and no defects were found. Due to the fact that the items are custom made, no returns or refunds will be accepted for those items. No exchanges or refunds can be issued if the client did not like the color, softness, hardness, uh, or, or the model that they bought. The exchange is available only if there is a manufacturing fault or client received the wrong color prosthetic than was ordered. So that's pretty basic stuff, so that's good. Ooh, something's here. Ooh, what is this? Ooh, there's like a pamphlet. Oh, look at that. How? Oh, and it tells you how to wear it care instructions and how to avoid damage. So that's pretty cool. Okay, let's just open the box because I totally forgot. I think it's something flaccid. I think that's what they're sent. Ooh. Oh, don't you love? Oh, and it slides open just like that and there's something in here. Ooh, okay, so we got, ooh, we got a pin. We got a pin. The pin says Emisil and it has the trans colors. So what do we have here? We have the flaccid number one. In the skin color 14, I told them, please send me one of your darker shades because everything that I have from them is of a super lighter shade, which is what I have for a lot of companies. I always try to get them to send me like a darker shade so that I can show the diversity and like what the darker shades actually look like. So I have a darker shade here. So let's open this and it does say this product has been inspected and it's actually signed. So they, they don't mess around here. This is me trying to be cool and like do it on camera. Here's like my armpit with my deodorant. Like, what is this? What, why did this happen? I like this shirt. <sighs> okay, so I just wanna say it's the little things, but the bag, the inside has like a mesh inside a little bit on this side, which I really appreciate. Banana Prosthetics also had bags like this. I don't know if they still do, but they did for a while. Okay. Ooh, nice and flaccid. Let's take a look. Woo! Ooh, this is much more compact than I thought it would be. Also, I totally forgot this is an unboxing video, so I'm not reviewing this. It's just like an unboxing and a first impressions. You get to ask all of your questions in the comments below, and then when I do the actual review of this product, which I will, I will answer your questions in the review. So let's look let's a little close over here. Look at that. Look at those details. There you go. Don't focus on me. Focus on... Depeen or now it wants to focus on the cats. That's fine. You still get to see this and then there's like a little swoop right there And then on the back you can see it even says Emisil and has their logo and the website like there They don't mess around anyway, so this is the uh, this is the packer right here It's made for packing you could have like an adhesive sheet or you could use adhesive stuff to adhere it to your body Or you could just use it as a packer. I'll do both and review it in both ways. So yeah, let me know in the comments below Ooh, it smells new, which, what does that even smell like? But it smells a little bit like vinegar, just a little bit. Like, not in a bad way, you know, very, very slight. All right, let me know in the comments below all the questions that you have for this, and I will uh, answer them in my review. And thank you again for watching. I love you. Have a great day. Bye.